Welcome back everybody to How Fast Will It Go and today we're dealing with a 2015 Audi TTS Coupe. Now this has a 914 horsepower, 615 pounds feet of torque V8 engine and it weighs 2580 pounds which is pretty damn light and uh, couple of that lightness with the power and the fact it has all wheel drive it can now do 0 to 16 in 2.335 seconds and 0 to 100 in 4.447 seconds which is pretty damn quick so uh, yeah I'm expecting this to absolutely fly in terms of acceleration and hopefully get to a uh, good speed and should hopefully be a lot better than the likes of the BMW i setter from last week so let's uh, get going this could potentially be one of the uh, quickest accelerating cars that we've had obviously it's not below the likes of two seconds that we've had from certain cars but considering it's a modern car and modern cars on this game tend to you know have difficult gearboxes to work with when upgrading this seems to be uh, yeah, as you can see pretty damn quick also potentially might be one of the better handling cars that we've had on this series yep no real issues at all Surprise, a new car doesn't weigh all that much as all wheel drive. Such a shame we can't use this in extreme power no handling because, yeah, it's dead on the nose on 5.0 handling, so yeah, it's just outside of the uh, only uh, real, real rule in this uh, game, so, well, in that series. So I damn well know it would be a quick car. Now it's been the most consistent in that series. Go. Well past its original top speed. That's 200. 220. 230. Completely uh, flawless in terms of dealing with this amount of speed. 240. No issues at all. The suspension is handling it well. There's 250 anymore, 251, 2. I think that's all we're gonna get. Yeah, 252 mile an hour. Now that is pretty damn quick, as you'll uh, no doubt find out when I tell you what is quicker than. But yeah, that's on its own, still a really, really rather fast uh, top speed. So yeah. That's actually two mile an hour quicker than the upgraded 2016 Audi R8 V10 that we've had on this series. Also quicker than the Fiat X19, and it's as quick as the Ferrari 250 California from 1957 and the 2014 Infiniti Q50 Eau Rouge. So yeah, pretty damn quick, and it's only a m one mile an hour behind the 2015 Ferrari 488 GTB. So yeah, really rather quick car, and as you saw from the few cornerings that we uh, went round or corners, should I say, that we went round. It's uh, really rather uh, decent as well in terms of handling that power. Uh, no issues at all in terms of getting up to that top speed either. No suspension issues, not even any real issues in terms of slowing it down either. So, uh, yeah, really, really mighty impressive. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.